second reaction of acids is a very important reaction, which is neutralization reaction. It's called neutralization because it gets rid of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions or solution neutral. You take an acid, you react with an alkali. Alkali is a water soluble base. So it is a base that dissolves in water. So it's a water soluble base. So when this reacts, it produces water and salt. And this salt is always soluble. Okay. This salt is soluble salt. Jobi salt neutralization se banega, it will always be soluble. Okay. So I'll give you an example. I take HCl aqua solution. I react with sodium hydroxide, very strong alkali, very highly used in the world. And what will it do? The hydrogen ion from acid and hydroxide ion from water that react to make water and whatever is left reacts together to make sodium chloride this is liquid and to show that salt is soluble we will put a q there so what happened here acid ka hydrogen or iska hydroxide they reacted to make water or baki sab jo hai wo waise ka waise aapas mein react kar gaya in this question an important part is ionic equation ionic equation kya hoti hai ki aapne ek bada simple sa rule yaad rakho Ionize any aqueous substance, then cancel the common parts on both sides. Those steps are common species on both sides. Gather. This are, these are the two steps to write ionic equation. Let me show you how. You need to ionize any aqueous part. Which is aqueous, you don't have to ionize it. You don't have to leave it. So in this one, HCl is aqueous. So there is hydrogen ion, there is chloride ion. I write that. So, I have split kiya hai hydrogen ion mein aur chloride ion. Mein. Sodium hydroxide is also aqueous. So, usko split karenge sodium ion mein aur hydroxide ion. Sodium chloride is also uh, aqueous. So, I will split that as well into sodium ion and chloride ion. But water is liquid. It's not aqueous. So, it will stay as it is. So, now second step. Cancel any common species. So sodium ion either be a sodium ion either. Chloride ion yaan bhi hai, chloride ion yaan bhi hai. So whatever is left, H positive plus OH negative makes water. And this is showing the ionic equation of this reaction. And the important part is that this is coming from acid. This is coming from alkali. They both neutralize and give us water. And that is why this reaction is neutralization. So agar kabhi bhi examiner aap se poochta hai, one mark question. Write the ionic equation for neutralization. You don't have to worry about ke kaun sa acid hai, kaun si alkali. Ionic equation for neutralization hamesha yehi ho. Pehli baat hai. Second, agar wo aapse kehta hai ke ionic equation banao. So you have to ionize aqueous substance and cancel the common species. Okay, let me give you an example. Aap ye khud karenge. Okay, so I have HNO3 and I react it with the potassium hydroxide. First of all, Complete the equation. But I can't believe it. Sir, um, uh, hydro, uh, H2O plus potassium nitrate. Excellent. H2O plus potassium nitrate. Now, this is aqueous. Aqueous liquid. Aqueous. So, now, write the complete method of writing an equation. So, again, in this one, what we have to do? We have to ionize it. So, first of all, we have to see what ions are. These ions are. And these ions are. Or ye ions. So we'll split everything up. H positive, NO3 negative, plus K positive, OH negative, makes H2O plus K positive, NO3 negative. We'll cancel the ions that are on common on both sides. And whatever we are left with, that is our ionic equation. Neutralization equation. 